Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to take the first and the second derivative of a particular function. It's kind of a strange looking function, the cosine of x squared, but that's the purpose of the exercise. And remember that the first derivative is equal to dy dx, the d dx of, the, of y, but the second derivative is the d dx of the dy dx. So we take the derivative of the first derivative to get the second derivative. Essentially, that's how we write that. We can also write it like this. So let's go ahead and first find the first derivative. And so what we do here is we can say that y prime, and ooh, that's not writing very well. Huh? So let me try to find a better pen. Let's try this one. All right, so we have y prime, that's a good pen. So that is equal to the derivative of the cosine would be the negative sine. So we get the negative sine of that angle, which is x squared, but then we have to multiply that times the derivative of the angle, so x squared, like this, and so this becomes equal to minus the sine of x squared times the derivative of x squared, of course, is 2x, and that gives us minus 2x times the sine of x squared. So that's now the first derivative. So now if we want to find the second derivative, we'll have to take the derivative of this. And now we have a product. We also have a negative 2 in the front, so we can go ahead and pull that out like this. And that's a constant, so that comes out to the front, and we're just going to take the derivative of this. Remember, there's a product here, the product of x times the sine of x squared. So we have to use the product rule in that case. And um, so we have y double. Whoop. Somebody just came home. All right. So here we have y double uh, primes. So that's the second derivative, which is equal to negative 2 times the derivative of this product. So we take the first term, x, times the derivative of this. So that would be the cosine of x squared times the derivative of x squared. So it would be times 2x plus the second, which is the sine of x squared times the derivative of the first, which is equal to 1, so times 1. Don't have to write that, but just wrote it so we can see why it's there. All right, and then we have to simplify that. So we have y double prime is equal to minus 2 times. And so we have x times 2x, that makes us, that gives us 2x squared times the cosine of x squared, and then plus the sine of x squared. And we have to close the bracket, and there it is. That is then the second derivative of that function. So see, in the first case, it's not that hard. We simply take the derivative cosine of x squared, so, it's the, so the derivative cosine is the negative sine of x squared, but then we take the derivative of what's inside, which is x squared. That gives us 2x. Now we realize we have a product, so here we use the product rule. It's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, and then we simplify, and that is how it's done. 